morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of the, my favorite recipes in my Pop It in the Toaster Oven cookbook. It's called One Step Classic Goulash. Goulash um, is a comfort food for me. I, when I was a kid, we had it a lot. And to this day, one spoonful, and I'm taken right back to my childhood. When I moved to New England, I found out that it was called American Chop Suey. Well, whatever it is, it's a wonderful casserole dish that you can put all the ingredients together, put it in a casserole dish, put it in the toaster oven, and in an hour you have wonderful goulash. You don't have to cook anything prior to that. All the ingredients go in one bowl, and then it goes into the toaster oven. So typical of many of the recipes that I have in this. People ask me occasionally, where do you get your cookbook? You can buy this cookbook anywhere. Uh, buy it online, go to your favorite bookstore, it's available. 250, now I'm going to show you what ingredients you'll need for this goulash. But first, I'm going to preheat my toaster oven to 400 degrees. Okay, this is so easy to do. It's unbelievable. Um, I have two cups of water here. And then I have a cup of elbow macaroni. Just one cup. Here is a cup of very lean hamburger. I think this is actually chopped sirloin. You want to have it lean because you're not going to cook it and drain it. So it has to be very, very lean to keep the fat content down. This is a half a cup of finely chopped onion. In this case, it was a white onion. And here is some fresh tomato. Now, it's peeled and chopped. So to do that, you just really need to boil some water, put the tomato in for a minute or so, take it out, and then peel it really easy to peel then. Eight ounce can here of regular, just generic tomato sauce. Over here I have a teaspoon of powdered garlic and then salt and freshly ground pepper. And in my cookbook I say you can use an 8 by 8 by 4 regular baking pan which would be fine. In this case I have a Pyrex one quart casserole dish. Any one quart casserole dish will work. Anything that is oven safe will work. And then over here for the topping, which will come later, I have a cup of breadcrumbs here and I have a tablespoon of margarine and I'll show you that's going to be the topping for later. So all of these ingredients, doesn't matter what order, go in to this casserole dish. The onions, boy they smell really good. Mm. Garlic powder, tomato sauce, Break this beef up in small pieces. And I'm adding salt to this. Probably a half a teaspoon of salt, I think, and freshly ground pepper, one of my favorite seasonings. And then I'm going to add the two cups of water. Now I'm going to mix it around. Now the goulash mixture is mixed very, very well. And I'm going to cover this dish with aluminum foil. As I say many times, um, it does have a domed lid, but in many toaster ovens that lid will not fit into the toaster oven, so you can always use aluminum foil. Okay, the whole thing is going to go into this 400 degree toaster oven just like that. I'm going to set the timer for 50 minutes, but after 25 minutes I'm going to 
take it out and just redistribute the ingredients. Stir through it and then put it back in for the 50 minutes. Okay, after 25 minutes, I've removed the mixture from the oven. It's, I think, would be pretty much half done, as you can see. Just stirring it again. Okay, um, so I've covered the mixture again with the aluminum foil. Note, I am wearing my oven mitts. This is very hot, so be, you'd have to be very careful with this. And I'm going to set, it's at 400, and I'm going to set the timer for 25 minutes now again. And uh, that will complete the 50-minute cooking cycle. You can see that everything is nicely cooked after the 50 minutes at 400. So now I'm going to sprinkle the top with the breadcrumbs. And then I'm just going to put some dots of, this is a uh, margarine. You can use butter, of course. It just lends a nice flavor. You don't need much, actually, to get that buttery flavor. And then the whole thing goes back um, into the oven and uncovered this time. And there are actually two options here. You can broil for six minutes or until it's nicely browned. Or you can keep baking at 400 until it's nicely browned. And I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, it should probably take maybe about the same amount of time. Okay, so you can see actually that was six minutes uh, just keeping on baking at 400 and the topping is beautifully browned. Um, on, in my cookbook on page 41, there is a recipe for homemade breadcrumbs. You can buy them. They have a lot of salt in them. But you can make them. Just uh, take some toast. In this case, I used whole wheat toast. Toast it really well. Run it through the blender. Add your spices and you have really, really great breadcrumbs. Is this going to take me back to my childhood? Let's test this goulash. Mm. Wonderful topping, crunchy, rich tasting. All the flavors are blended together very nicely takes me back to my childhood a million years ago. Mm. What's the nice thing about this? Just throw everything in the casserole, pop it in the toaster oven. In less than an hour you have beautiful goulash or American chop suey. Give this a try. Mm.